In this video, you'll see how to configure Attribute Based Access Control, or ABAC, permissions to federate users into AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. With this solution, you can use attributes defined in external identity systems and SAML session tags to grant users access to Session Manager over specific managed instances. An alternative to role based access control, ABAC lets you grant access permissions dynamically based on individual user, resource, and environment attributes. This provides you with more granular control over what users can do while simplifying permissions management. To implement ABAC, you must create a policy for it in Identity and Access Management, or IAM. For this example, we'll look at an existing ABAC policy that was created for Session Manager. Let's open the policy's JSON code and review it. This policy allows federated user access to specific EC2 instances using Session Manager based on the user's department membership. The first statement block allows federated users to navigate into the AWS Session Manager console to specific EC2 and hybrid managed instances that are available to connect. The second statement makes the Session Manager Start Session available to all resources only when the value of the resources department tag matches the value of the principal department tag. The third statement restricts Session Manager Terminate Session to session resources created by the same federated user. Next, let's navigate to our IAM role for Session Manager. This role uses Security Assertion Markup Language, or SAML, based federation with Okta, an external identity provider. Before we attach our ABAC policy to this role, we'll need to modify the trust policy generated by Okta. We'll edit the trust relationship to add the AWS Secure Token Service, or STS, tag session action, which allows us to pass session tags. We want our federated users to connect as specific local operating system, or OS, accounts when establishing sessions in Session Manager. So let's add the SSM session run as string like condition. Update the trust policy. Now let's attach our ABAC policy. With our IAM role properly configured, let's open a new tab and sign into the Okta console. Let's navigate to our AWS Account Federation dashboard. We already have two federated users who can access Session Manager. Let's go to the Sign On tab to configure user attributes in SAML. We already have two attributes configured, Login and Department. Let's add a third attribute for our policy's SSM Session Run As condition. We'll enter the attribute's name, format, and value. Let's save our changes. Next, let's modify our Okta User Profile Template attributes. To do that, we'll use the Profile Editor. Select the Okta User Edit Profile action. The Login and Department attributes are already configured, so we just need to add an SSM Session Run As attribute. We'll save this attribute and then check to see that it's been added to the Okta User Profile template. Next, let's navigate to the People directory to look at a user profile. By default, the username or login attribute is set to the user's email address. For this user, the department attribute is set to Amber, and the SSM session run as attribute is set to Alice, which is the user's operating system account name. Now that our Okta users are configured, let's return to the IAM console. Next, we'll navigate to EC2 and make sure our EC2 instances are properly tagged. Let's check the tags on our Amber instance. The instance name and department key are tagged correctly. Let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager for the final step in the configuration process. 
In the Navigation pane, select Session Manager. Here, we'll edit our general preferences to specify the operating system username to start sessions with. Select the checkbox to enable Run As support for Linux instances. Defining an operating system username is optional. For our purposes, let's leave it blank and save the changes. Now, to test our configuration, let's log into Okta as Federated User Alice. Select AWS Account Federation to sign into the AWS Management Console. Navigate to AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. Let's start a session. Alice is assigned to the Amber Department, so we'll select the Amber instance and start the session. Let's verify that we're logged in as Alice. Let's also test a few commands. Now, let's terminate the session. Our session terminated successfully. Now, let's see what happens if Alice tries to start a Blue Instance session. As expected, we get a message saying the user Alice is not authorized. This holds true for terminating sessions as well. Federated users can only terminate sessions that they have started. Let's try to terminate Bob's session. As expected, we received a message saying we're not authorized because the session ID contains Bob's principal tag login value and doesn't match the ABAC policy resource to allow this action. You've just seen how to configure attribute-based access control permissions to grant federated user access to AWS Systems Manager Session Manager. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.